Um, I think we got to talk about something, Hal. Yeah, we do. Uh, are you on the same page as me with this one? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let me use two words real quick. College football. You're talking about Sarah Fuller, aren't you? <laughs> I'm talking about Sarah Fuller. Um, if you didn't see the news, uh, first of all, um, I will say, Sarah Fuller, uh, you did accomplish history. You were the first woman to play in a Power 5 football game. You were the first woman to kick a field goal in a Power 5 football game. Notice how I mentioned two things there. Uh, does anyone know how long, uh, um, let's say, Herschel Walker, um, let's say, uh, Bo Jackson played in college football? Do you even know how many games he played, Al, if you had to guess off the top of your head? I don't know, but not a lot, right? No, I'd say four years. I feel like that's a lot of games. Sarah Fuller, played, Sarah Fuller played two games, and if you did not see the news, she's in the Hall of Fame now. The College Football Hall of Fame. Among greats. Among maybe the greatest in yeah, college football history. Yeah, I know where you're coming history. from. It doesn't make sense to me. It, it doesn't, just make, doesn't make sense. I know. And Sarah Fuller, I would say congratulations, but it's a history making moment. I feel like college football is the College Football Hall of Fame is more for the skill that you had in college football. You made a, it, a you kicked thirty yards for you a talk kickoff. about you talk about like players like Bo Jackson and stuff like that. I mean, who just they deserve to sacrifice their lives. Yes, to play. And you hear the played, stories of Bo Jackson. I mean, and, and it's just they played like with their hearts and everything, and they played for so long like that, as you were saying, and then. I mean, Sarah Fuller, I mean, she's got to play longer to, to yeah. accomplish something like that. Would you just say, make any sense. Would you say this is a disgrace to the College Football Hall of Fame? Letting someone who played two games and make one field goal into yeah. the Hall of Fame? Yeah. I feel I like it just makes – I feel like if I was a legend and I was in the Hall of Fame, College Football Hall of Fame, I would think to myself – I did all that work, and she played two games. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's just what people it's what people need to understand. I understand we're going to get a lot of hate from this, a lot of hate, where people are going to be firing at us. But what people need to understand is she was let into this game. She needs to be treated as a football player. That's what football yeah. is. You're not treated as anyone else. I play football against my mom on Thanksgiving. I treat her as a football player, not my mom. All right. <laughs> This yeah, is a, I know, I know this is a sport. This is not patty cake. This is not a video game. This is not Madden NFL. And this is the this is college football. Yeah, and again, and like you were saying, I mean, if I saw if I saw Sarah, I would definitely congratulate her. I mean, that's I would. I would shake her hand. I'd say that, congratulations. That's amazing. It is. Yes. But like the Hall of Fame part of it, I just. But, I mean, I would expect if I asked her, if I didn't know that she played two games, I would expect when I asked her, how would you get in the Hall of Fame? I'd expect her to say something like, well, I played for four years. I kicked the longest field goal. And, uh, that, would be, that would be an accomplishment. That would be an con- accomplishment. But I think, I think if she went, I mean, in all honesty, I think if she played with Vanderbilt for the rest of her college career and was the starting kicker, I mean – Maybe you can put her in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. But after two games, after two games, that's like that's like uh, Trevor Lawrence going in this year, playing one game, getting hurt, and being inducted into the Hall of Fame just because yeah, he won the is. game. I, I don't understand. I don't know if you guys understand. Please let us know if you do. Uh, I honestly, con- congratulations, Sarah Fuller. That's a huge accomplishment. But um, for the other guys in the Hall of Fame, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about this. don't know if you've spoken out about it. But, pretty um, unbelievable. It's pretty unbelievable. This is the time we live in. I can guarantee you if Sarah Fuller was to get tackled in the game, people would say that it was sexist. Uh, but I don't know. It's just the world we live in at this point. Sarah Fuller, I hope you go through a lively college career if you play any more games. Um, 
But yeah, Al, anything else to add on? Uh, no, I got nothing. I think we hit it. All right, folks, thank you. Um, sorry, this got pretty serious. I know we're a lot used to making jokes, but I think this is something me and Al really, really cared about at this point in our time and our the in the world we're living in. Oh, and uh, watch out for the movie coming out. Legends never die. Legends never die, folks. Life filming great. has been great. Uh, love the producers. Love the directors. Uh, Stanley and Phyllis are in it. I know you guys have heard their names before. But all right, thanks for watching. Uh, look out for Malari Mondays and a new segment that you actually just saw Wednesday. Al's midweek recap. Al, what? Tell us a little bit about midweek recap. Uh, you know, it's just the midweek recap. I mean, just the standout players of the week, and you know, more stuff like that. We'll get. Um, Al, anything else you want to talk about? I think that's it. Yeah. All right, guys. Just a short and sweet Christmas special, talking about the game tonight. Uh, you guys stay safe. Hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas, and. Uh, Doug Mullary out. Al, anything you want to say to the fans just before we leave? You know, uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, folks. All right. That's it. Have a great Christmas day, everyone. Enjoy it with your family. Drink some hot cocoa. Eat some peppermints. Open the presents. Deck the halls if you haven't already. Uh, and light up that fire. Tell Santa thank you. And I'll see you next time on 3rd and 2, folks. See you later. All right.